All right, guys. So, um, workout one, day one, quarantine, no gym, corona can't stop us. Holla. Um, first part, hold on, let me fix this. First part is um, the warm up, uh, two rounds. It is a 200 meter jog, um, 10 push ups, and then uh, 30 mountain climbers, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for running, uh, since we don't all have uh, stuff to measure how, the distance, um, I chose 200 meters. So think of it as um, 10 mailboxes. You're gonna run basically about 10 mailboxes out and then turn around and run back. Um, now, if you live on like strike lane or something where the mailboxes are like every 100 meters, use your best judgment to where you think about 100 meters is. Remember when you run 100 meters at the, or if we're running 200 meters at the gym, you would run from the door to the 100 meter mark and back. So you're trying to mimic that roughly about the same distance. Okay, so choose 10 mailboxes if you're in a community. Um, again, if you're not, uh, if you're in like strike lane or something, um, try to do your best to guess the uh, 200 meters. If you're on a rower, row 200 meters. If you have a bike, do roughly 10 calories. Okay, uh, push-ups. Um, push-ups are pretty simple, same, same thing as always. Make sure your chest touches the ground. Um, yeah, make sure your chest touches the ground and your arms are fully locked out. Um, I just keep looking at time. Again, this is the first time I've ever recorded myself, or it's actually one of the first times I've ever recorded myself. Um, it's a little different for me, so I'm gonna get used to it just like you guys do. Um, with the mountain climbers, what we're looking for is you're in that plank position, you're bringing your feet, you're jumping them up to the outside, 30 of them total, so it's 15 per leg. What that looks like is this. Oh yeah. If that's too much, you can do this. If you wanna get crazy, you can come all the way with it. It's up to you. All right, um, so after the warm up, we have a 20 minute AMRAP. It is a 300 meter run, 30 supermans, 30 goblet squats, and 30 bicycles. Um, so in that, so that again, now we're running um, 300 meters. So you're gonna run uh, 15 mailboxes out, 15 mailboxes back. Obviously the 15 that you run out, you turn around and run back. Uh, if you're on a rower, row 300. Um, if you are on a bike, do about 12 calories, okay? Um, next is the Superman. Superman's gonna be lying face down on the ground. You're gonna pick up your legs and your chest at the same time. Be here. Yep, arms out in front or in front of your head. You're just gonna pick up and down. No, and down. 30 times you should feel it in the middle part of your, um, of your back. After those 30, we have 30 goblet squats. Um, I have a dumbbell. So it's just full range of motion, squat below parallel and back up. Make sure while you're doing your squats, just like always, that your knees are staying out over your feet, that they're not um, coming in. Make sure that your heels are staying on the ground and try and keep your chest up as much as possible. The lower you can get, the better, but as long as you're keeping your back straight, you should be all right. Um, after the 30 goblet squats, oh, if you don't have a dumbbell, use a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, use a dumbbell. If you don't have either one and you have a wall ball, use that. If you don't have any equipment at all whatsoever, uh, find a backpack or an old bag and fill it with as many books as you can to get a desired weight that would be good for you. If you don't have any books, um, get some books and start reading. Um, <laughs> uh, grab pots and pans and put those in your bag or in a, in a bag. They will weigh, they'll weigh a lot because of the steel. Um, it'll help you get to the desired weight. Okay, now you might feel funny about doing it, but you're doing some fitness, so remember this is only a short amount of time. As long as you can get through it, then we're good to go. After that, you have 30 bicycles. This is where you're laying on the ground on your back. Oh, legs extended, you're gonna bring your right elbow to your left knee, left elbow to right knee, and back and forth. Okay, so for your 30 reps, um, we're looking for 30 per leg. So each time your right elbow touches your left el uh, knee, and so on and so forth, um, it has to touch both legs for it to be one rep. So it'd be either 60 or 30 per leg. You can look at it however you want. Um, this is our first workout. Um, I'm gonna post my score tomorrow. I'll probably do or I'm gonna post my score today Obviously um, after I do this and uh, Hope to see you guys on there